Uh, hey guy, welcome to this uh, second video. This is about setting up the CouchDB master. So the first thing we need to do, we need to SSH to the machine and run some couple of command uh, to install CouchDB in this server. So what we need to do, we need to SSH to the machine, uh, very good SSH CouchDB master. So, and once we are inside, we're gonna run a couple of commands to install CouchDB. So the first thing we need to run is to update all the packages. So I better run this one already. So, because this is this was taking uh, too much time to install everything, to update everything. So it was worth it like installing uh, before starting this tutorial. So this is already done before, so nothing will really happen. So as you can see here, no package update available. So this is great. But in your case, I think you will see a bunch of package being installed. So the second thing is to install uh, the group uh, development tool. So this will provide some of the tool like uh, the compiler to be to help you build your CouchDB source. So this has been done as well. So nothing will really happen in this case. So you can see here no package in any requested group available to install or update. So this has been done already. And the next thing you need to do, you need to install the following uh, packages. So uh, this has been done as well, but in your case, you should see, uh, you know, a list of package being installed. So as you can see here, we have all those package installed already. So this is awesome. So the next thing would be to install another list of RPM packages. So these are packages that have to be required in order to be up and running. So this also has been installed. So I will see, I will show you the list of package already installed. So this is awesome. So and the next thing uh, we have to do is to install um, the JavaScript engine. So it's called Spider Monkey from Mozilla. So CouchDB will need that package. So we need to install this one. Already done. So I, I'm just showing the showing you the command that you need to run. But in your case, you should be able to see that the package are being installed because I prepared this machine already in order to save us a little bit of time. So the next thing will be to install our Erlang. But before that, we need to install the API release. So this is a repo, RPM repo, where you can find Erlang. If we don't install this before, so we won't be able to uh, be able to install Erlang. So what we need to do now is to install Erlang. Erlang is a programming language um, and by the way CouchDB is written in Erlang so we need to have Erlang installed. So as you can see here Erlang is already installed. So this is awesome. We've done with installing you know some of the package that we need. So what we need to do now is to uh, get the CouchDB source. So I'm just gonna run wget go to Apache to the CouchDB Apache.org to get uh, uh, the CouchDB source. So this is the source. So we just gotta download uh, the CouchDB source. So it's downloading the source. The next step will be to uh, configure uh, to run configure and what configure basically. Uh, does is to check that the system is ready uh, for us so in order to be able to build uh, CouchDB. So the configure will be doing a lot of checking so let's run the command and you might be able to see that but before running the command I need to show you uh, the CouchDB Apache uh, source has been downloaded so we need to extract this uh, X, uh, v, Z, uh, X, uh, VF, and then uh, Apache and then we can see we are extracting and if we do like this we have a folder uh, called here Apache CouchDB so we can get inside that folder and now start running our configure so I'm just gonna run the configure command here configure so it's gonna be configuring uh, or making sure that the system that we are in, we are on now, so which means CentOS 7 uh, is ready for us to start building CouchDB. So if there are problems, so this is done. So all we need to do now is to uh, build CouchDB. So we're gonna run make and make will install or will execute whatever uh, tasks uh, were defined in the make file. So we are building now our source. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. And the next thing will be to uh, install 
uh, couch TV. So install basically mean here that since after the build we have some file that has been generating generated. So we need to copy those stuff into the right location. So that what should make install will help us to do. This is taking a little bit of time. You shouldn't take too much time now. So this is done. We just have to install our CouchDB and that's done. So what the next command that we need to do is to uh, create the CouchDB user with no home directory. So as you can see here, because we need to create the CouchDB user because this directory need to have the right uh, file or uh, the right ownership. So we're gonna use CouchDB as CouchDB user as the ownership. So we create the CouchDB uh, user so I need to create the cache db user uh, here we've done and then we're gonna set up the permission of those files to be to belong to cache db user so we have the lib we have uh, the run we have and the log. log so that's done so now we need to link our the cache db startup script to uh, to the right location so pretty much uh, this is not really something that you need but since we use ATC in the D a lot of time to kind of start a service so we're just gonna link this uh, startup strip inside uh, the ATC in the D uh, CouchDB file so this is done so all we need to do now is to start CouchDB so I'm just gonna run ATC in it D uh, CouchDB uh, start so you can see we have a message uh, confirming that our database server CouchDB is up and running. So we can also confirm by running ps uh, grep CouchDB and we can see CouchDB is up and running here. So the next thing we need to do, we need to make sure that CouchDB is accessible uh, through our browser. So CouchDB has a web interface. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, copy the IP address here so this is the IP address. I'm just gonna copy that and go to my web browser. And I have that already here. And the default port of CouchDB is 5984. So we can try to access this and it's not accessible. So the reason is for that, that the port uh, is not open. So you can pretty much check the port here. This is my Mac computer. I'm not in my uh, server, inside my server and map, the IP and the port. So it's gonna be uh, 5984. Oh, sorry 5984 and here you can see that the port is closed and to open this port what we need to basically do we need to go to the cache db configuration file user uh, local etc cache db local uh, dot online so we need to modify uh, under httpd uh, section so we have the port and the bind address so we'll modify this to change this to 0.0.0. .0, so this is uh, mean all uh, EPV4 addresses. So in the server context, so if your server has two IP addresses and your service is running on this bind address, so it means having those two IP address associated to your server. So your server, uh, your application can be reachable if it's running on this bind address. So what we need to do, we save this file and we can restart CouchDB. So I'm just gonna restart CouchDB here. Uh, and you can see here, CouchDB has been restarted. So if you use the Nmap on your Mac computer now, so you can see the port should be open now. If I go to my web browser and reload, I should be able to see that it's up and running. So just make sure you follow all the step in the post. So this is like complimentary video that can help you in case um, that in case you need it. So thank you very much for watching.